Astrid Anderson signing. Hi everybody. Um, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Jade, specifically Astrid Jade Anderson. Thanks, thanks for coming. Thanks for stopping by. Hey, on today's agenda, we're going to go through the worst type of DMs I've ever received. So, without any further ado, let's 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 get into it. I have how much? Seven categories. Number one, we're going to start off really bad. So we have dick pics. However, they have evolved tremendously. And mind you, when they cannot get through to me in my DMs, either I see it and I block them, or I haven't like seen the message itself, they send it to my business email. So there are multiple men, multiple emails that I've blocked. At this point, it's around 35. And they have sent me jerk off videos and it ranges anywhere between a minute and 30 seconds to 10 minutes and I'm not talking about no regular just mm -mm and done it's fully edited with cuts transitions effects zooms music in the background all of that so this is just one specific guy this is just one example that I'm going to show you because I yeah just know that I've blocked the email and he just makes other emails so it's like john brown get block john brown one at gmail.com john brown two mech block john brown three at gmail.com like that's literally how it goes so let me show you just understand that the only thing i have added to the video is a blur because i cannot show nudity the song that you're hearing the effect that you're seeing all of that is him do it so I'm a show now. I'll have to understand and I'll be out early in the morning. Game on yeah, we are back. I don't know how people in their right minds would ever send like unsolicited pictures to a stranger. I can never wrap my head around it and I'm not going to I'm not going to try. So on to the next secondly since we're on the topic of penises these pictures cannot show at all at all so i have to describe it <sighs> imagine or don't to be honest a screenshot of my face from one of my skits printed out on plain paper and then imagine ejaculation you know a man's come bombarded in different spots of the paper and then imagine the tip of the penis touching the paper so while that while imagining that just know that there's a man behind a phone taking picture taking a picture of that and in my dms is the result of the picture the picture of what i just described to you do you know how scary that is that's it's probably like 12 persons that have done it and and the thing is the message that always follows the picture is i love your voice so much i love your accent so much that's that's always it so i'm guessing it's being done to my voice so that's um mm. So number three head back pictures honestly though it's kind of innocent because the message that always follows is saw you at xyz was really scared or shy to approach you um and then they send the pictures prove that they saw me however just knowing that i'm somewhat known to the point where someone can recognize me in public is like okay like the, the awareness i don't know if explain it but yeah so like simply they're just pictures of me from behind there's like a back way photo of me like getting in my car or coming out of the car or like at us in the supermarket or at a food establishment or like any and anywhere in this country roadside yeah i've gotten pictures of me there and then like back in the day when i was a walk foot i got pictures of my head back in a bus or like taxi and stuff so yeah the fourth type would be the very weird sexual ones because honestly what are these what are these Cause honestly what are these what are these especially the um the, 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 this prisoner 
one what 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 and then the fifth one would be the death threats i don't know if this one more traumatizing than the next one i'm going to mention but the fact that people want me to die is so crazy to me because i don't know man i just be making videos i just be posting them and just you know yeah i don't i don't deserve these threats that one about tizing though like the fact that like if he wanted to he could have done it so the thing is before i even started this social media stuff i was like very hyper vigilant as related to my surroundings so i still have that same mentality but knowing that there are persons out there that probably do want to harm me and as soon as like they probably see me in real life they might take that opportunity it kind of um kind of hard to fathom but i mean sixth one i think these are kind of worse than the death threats because i don't want to show them by the way they're worse because they're very well thought out they're very specific and detailed and that's what's like it's like a rape fantasy so and i'm the i'm the what's the word the puppet and they're the puppeteer i guess like there's one where i don't know where to find this because there are two of them i remember specifically but they were like two years ago one of them i was at devon house by the time i got home and checked my phone there was a picture of me like eating the party that i had i think it was a shrimp party or whatever and i had a um banana bread that's also the story but the person sent me the picture of me on the bench eating it saying i've so i've seen you before i love you so much i love your content and this is what i want to do and he perfectly described how he would have kidnapped me drawn me through the grass drawn me name kiar take me gone whatever whatever and what he would do to me how he would take off the buttons how he would take off the underwear how much satisfaction he would get hearing me scream and cry and the other one that i cannot forget it was back when i was at walkfoot and i was in my second year university because that would have been 2019 and i would have just started doing clinical so i just started going in the um the blue uniform yeah and it was really particularly scary because it, i came to the realization that it's somebody that would always take that number bus because i either go downtown or half it said something along the lines of i'd grab you while you're on your way to the transport center put you in a vehicle carry you go away woy -woy, and basically describe how him would have cut the uniform cut off the stocking keep the stocking on just cut out the middle part and proceeded to describe like what he would do and how he would discard of my body this is the last one i think this one this one is most definitely the most tame of all that i've been speaking about that's bank account details this is just i just will show one example but the amount of credit card and d and debit card photos that i have in my dms is ridiculous and the amount of um bank receipts receipts after you go atm that people have sent is crazy and it's not just the front of the debit and credit card you know like the number is there the expiration date and the three number something cv thingy at the back mind you i haven't used any of them i am not going to be using any of them so please like stop sending me them i don't i don't want it if the first 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 thing that you ever do to interact with me is show me your finances in my opinion i feel like there's nothing else about you than just the money i have like there's no personality like if you take the money away you have nothing to back yourself there are no qualities that you have about you so i'm gonna i'm gonna frighten i'm gonna frighten at all but yes that was the video it absolutely sucks because a lot of you do actually send me very like nice encouraging messages that do make my day my week my month the rest of my year and some of you be asking me stuff like you know what how much packs of hair did i use or what hair did i use or where i got a swimsuit or where i got some particular item of clothing or shoes or like little questions based on like something that i posted where i get a boogie tat and so but because of the other things in my dms i check my dms like once every 
three to four months and then i'll be going on a check-in dm spree to like respond to like the questions like people ask or like the encouraging messages and stuff but the moment i buck up on like a penis or a rape threat or a death threat or something it just like instantly sticks my stomach and turns me off and i just that just don't touch my dms again for another four months so yeah when you send me something from 2022 when you see me just a respond in a deep in a 2023 just understand that my dms is a place where it's like what i don't see won't hurt me that's what i treat it as so yeah i kind of purposely just avoid going in there because i know the stuff that are in there like the persons who are the worst of the worst and do not want to say things publicly to me it's in my dms that it goes so yeah but i really don't know how to end this thanks for watching i guess um i'm really sorry if i traumatized you i can't even say hope you enjoyed the video because this video was not enjoyable at all but yeah i'll see you guys not next tuesday the tuesday after that because i post every other tuesday so yeah um bye guys peace love take care of yourself um be vigilant on the road look behind you and you know using the earphone and not be aware of the surroundings and just keep safe look out for each other if you can and yeah 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 bye ashley jade anderson sign out